Hi, fourth grader. This week, you are working on decoding words with unusual spelling patterns. One sound may be represented by many different spellings. If you know all the different spellings for a sound, it will be easier for you to decode unfamiliar words. Let's take a look at words with long E spellings. Long E can be spelled in many different ways. Each word has a different spelling but stands for the same sound. Look at the different spellings in the following words. Me. The long E sound is spelled with the letter E. Kneel. The long E sound in this word is spelled E E. Heel. The long E sound is spelled E A. Key. The long E sound is spelled E Y. Receive. The long E sound is spelled E I. Field. The long E sound is spelled I E. Now let's look at words spelled with the short E sound. Short E is usually spelled with one E, as in the words bet, bed, well, seven, nest. But in words with unusual spellings, the short E sound can sometimes be spelled with the letters E-A, as in the word meant. The word is pronounced meant with the short E sound instead of meant like one might think based on long E spelling patterns that we recognize. Because these unusual spellings don't follow common rules, it's helpful to memorize the spellings associated with the sounds. With so many different unusual spelling patterns, it is important to learn the most common words that you will encounter in reading and spelling. That way, you don't have to go through the difficulty of decoding the words every time. Let's take a look at the following chart. We will identify unusual spelling patterns here. The first is short E. We can spell it E-A as in pleasant or meant. For the long E, it can be spelled I-N-E, as in magazine and routine. For words with the short I sound, they can be spelled with U-I, as in guild and rebuild. For long E sounds, they can be spelled with Y, as in recycle and style. And finally, the G sound can be spelled G-U, as in guess and guard. Remember that while memorizing letter patterns to spell words can be helpful, when it comes to unusual spelling patterns, it's more helpful to memorize the spelling of the entire word from start to finish so that you do not have to go through the steps of decoding and trying different letter sounds before you decode the correct word.